Hello everyone, welcome to a commentary video. I know, crazy, believe it or not, I'm actually doing that. Um, so, Dead Space. The subject of this video is Dead Space. Now, I've played this game in full, so if you want to look at my channel, by all means, uh, you can see me have the good things that happened in the game, and the bad things, and the little in-between. Um, so, that's why I'm doing a review of this, because uh, I feel like for the games that I play in depth, in full, um, I should have an official video dedicated to it of me actually giving my thoughts about the game. So that's why we're here, right? Crazy. Um, now, keep in mind, this is not the new Dead Space. This is not the, the made the remade version this is the actual original when did this game come out who puts ads on a space live stream anyway so the original game came out in 2008 um it's like it's almost like the game company that made it ea is trying to cover it up with the remake because everything you look up about dead space is all about the remake but i'm not talking about the remake i'm talking i'm talking about the original game and that's the one I played. So there's a couple things that we're gonna talk about. Um, we're going to talk about, sorry, I have it written over here. Um, replayability, gameplay, the fun factor of it, uh, the actual make of the game. So like how well the game is made and everything like that. Uh, and then my other thoughts. So just some other things that I thought about the game. So without further ado, let's get into the meat of it. Or should I say the limbs? There's a lot of, like, cutting off limbs in this game, if you didn't know. <laughs> I think let's talk about the gameplay first, uh, because, I mean, that's a big part of this game. So, overall, I thought this was a spectacular game to play, as far as gameplay goes. It is, like, really engaging um really gets your you know gets your heart pumping a little intense maybe get you some sweating in the underarms right um it's very fast pace but also slow pace like so you get enough time in between interactions to really collect yourself and be ready for the next interaction um but it's not too much time so it's not like oh i've gone and you know talked to my family and really gone back home and seen the kids and everything like that i think i'm ready for the next issue i've been ready for years now for the next encounter it's kind of like you get like just this little hallway like two or two or three hallways between interactions and you're like okay i'm ready to go and then so then when things pop out you're like okay I'm ready to go but also they keep it very engaging so every other corner or something like that is you know there's a monster coming out um they make it so that you don't trust the vents or anything like that vents um no they make it so that you don't trust the vents or anything like that because the enemies necromorphs can actually come out of those so it's kind of you're always keeping you on your toes i remember there's also a lot of interactions in the game where you'll be you'll open a door and like an enemy will appear for like a split second and then it will disappear and so just so that you're like you're freaked out, but you're ready to fight, but then you realize, like, it's not a full encounter, so you just, you gotta move on. But you're still on your toes, right? And then, not to mention, in this game, they also have encounters with the giant tentacle monster thing. Um, and so, it appears, it starts attacking you, and then it's like a mini boss fight, almost, so you just, so you don't get dragged away into a, wherever it's gonna take you. You have to shoot the tentacles off. And so that also added to the overall kind of enjoyment of the game, the, the uh, gameplay of it, just cause it's like, you never know when that's gonna happen unless you played the game multiple times, um, which we'll talk about later, but you don't, you don't know when it's gonna happen. So you're, you're just walking, you kind of have to have your hand on the trigger, I guess, every single corner you turn around, which, makes sense for the you know the general vibe of the game because it's an entire space it's an entire space shuttle you know overrun by alien zombie monsters right so that's great i also liked how i mean just the overall buildup of the story it almost feels like you're I, i've said it before you gotta stay on top of your toes you're never safe 
uh, because of this, the necromorphs and everything like that, is such a bizarre enemy. It's such a bizarre issue. So, the, you don't know what's going to happen. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of the xenomorph from Aliens, you know, like it's kind of a thing that adapts to everything. But in this case, the necromorph slash the marker, everything is just so the threat is wide ranged. I'll put it that way. You can have things that fly, things that shoot things, things that, you know, take up an entire side of the spaceship, you know, things that are resistant to space. Like it's there is so many levels to the necromorph threat that you you can't just master one uh one necromorph enemy and then move on if that makes sense you you just gotta keep moving on with and just be ready for what comes next which adds a lot of uh stress but also a lot of interest in the gameplay whoa hey there i noticed that you were watching my video now, this isn't an ad because I'm not sponsored by anybody, but this is just a reminder that you should subscribe to my channel. Hey, you already clicked on the video and you've already made it this far, so why not take it just a little bit out of your day to pluck that subscribe button and hey, maybe the bell button as well, because why not? Why not? Who doesn't love a guy who talks in front of a camera and play games? plays games am i right am i right or am i right plus fish right and also by the way leave a comment and stuff like that for games you want me to play or another game that you want me to review by all means i always watch those so or i always look at those things and uh yeah so back to the review okay segueing on to that from the gameplay let's actually talk about the fun factor of the game so I talked about a lot about great things that were in the gameplay, um, but so overall the game was very enjoyable. It was very fun. Um, if you're an adrenaline junkie like me and you enjoy the high paced games, but as well as things that are kind of like are scary, so get you, you know, get your heart pumping, that sort of thing. Cause I feel like, as I've said before, it kind of, you don't feel like you're safe. And so with that being said, like you come into like a nice little area where there's a shop and like there's things to upgrade but even then you feel like something could jump out of the roof and attack you so that was always great um there was some light puzzle solving which is fine you know you can throw that in just to kind of throw a break in between you know the shooting so it's not something like uh wolfenstein or like doom right it's more of like a your guy trying to fix things right so the puzzle solving makes sense um but then what i also liked about that what dead space did is it gave you this ability these like special abilities that would help you fix the ship and also like do do whatever you needed to do for the story but also you can implement that into your combat so that it could help help solve two problems at once so like for example isaac has a kinesis module that or a stasis module either there's there's two different ones so the stasis module gives you the ability to slow objects down Whereas the kinesis object, uh, kinesis module will be, gives you the ability to move things, but also pick up things and fire them at a much higher rate. So obviously, when your whole plan, your whole goal is to dispatch as many of these alien zombie things as possible, it makes it very easy to dispatch them when you can pick up a blade of like a saw blade, so similar to like Half-Life 2. So you pick up a, a, a saw blade and you fire it at them, right? Uh, so that was very enjoyable. It's a it's really cool how those two like the puzzle solving aspect translates also to the combat as well Now let's talk about the uh, The fun or the make of the game. So how well the game was made seeing as it was made in 2008 some things are a little bit quirky um, the camera is I feel like it could back up a little bit, but it didn't affect the thing too much. It didn't affect the combat or anything too much. Um, it gets a little weird when the necromorphs are too close to you. I feel like it's just kind of screwed. So you have to keep them kind of at a distance. Uh, like you can blast their limbs off and stuff like that. But like, for example, later in the game, not to spoil too much, I won't spoil too much, but the enemies, there's some really fast enemies. And when they get up close to you, it's like impossible to just get rid of them. 
like you can punch them because Isaac has a punching motion, but the punching does li very little to a giant, like claw armed, speedy zombie thing. So there was a few issues. Uh, like I noticed the ragdoll physics were a little bit strange. They were just kind of flying everywhere, uh, which is forgivable for an old game, but I just, it was just so weird. Like I just see things jump up and down. And so I'd be like, hmm, okay. Uh, or I'd be like, cause I'm already jumpy, right? Cause things have been jumping out of the walls and stuff like that. I'm like, what is that? What is that? You know, but it's, it's just a box that had some weird funky physics. But um, besides that, I mean, it is a great game as far as that goes you know for the for the quality for the time that it came out um i thought it was great i didn't really have any quarrels um but oh i will say about this it just kind of seemed like you were just running errands the whole time um this is like my only gri this is like one of my very only gripes with the game um it just felt like you were running errands the whole time so like the whole idea that especially for me like if i was put in that position on a spaceship that's floating with these horrific horrific creatures like something out of like uh lovecraft hp lovecraft i i forgot his name for a second but so hp lovecraft you're you're on this spaceship with a lovecraftian horror basically right you're just like oh my gosh this is awful right and so you'd think their only plan would be to get off of it, right? Um, but like, I feel like that idea just leaves because it's, it's like the whole game, you're like, okay, you're safe now. Okay, Isaac, I need you to go fix the, the gravity thing. Otherwise, we're going to blow up, right? And then you go fix it. Oh, no, Isaac, there's an asteroid belt coming near us. I need you to shoot literally every asteroid until we can do this, blah, blah, blah okay fine like believable and then it just keeps doing that so it's like i think you do that like five or six times if that's not if it isn't the whole if it isn't the whole game it's most of it right is just oh crap isaac something's something's broken you need to go fix it or we're all gonna die as if you're not already going to die because of the you know impending threat which is the people turning into freaky things right freaky necromorphs um i also it's also kind of funny like you see some uh you see some development in some of the characters i'll be honest like a lot of games that kind of focus on horror and stuff like that it's hard to really care about the other characters per se um but i mean to be fair isaac doesn't really talk at all in the game the main character uh it's actually kind of funny some people are like you know putting like oh i'm a base chad right and using patrick bateman as their patrick bateman or like uh or ryan gosling as their like their guy they want to be like you know i think we should all take one out of isaac clark's book uh you know just like people talk to oh isaac i love you so much you're you're the greatest person ever isaac the the ship's about to explode we're gonna lose everything He just, uh, I won't spoil the end of the game, but there is, there's a part where he like shows some emotion, but he doesn't even cry. He doesn't even do anything. He just kind of, he just, he just does this. He's like, and that's not because of poor animating that he just, he just doesn't have a voice. He just doesn't talk. All you can get out of him is a classic, is a classic Arr! Arr! when he's like stomping on things so you know maybe we should take one out of his book but it is a very well-made game for the time that it came out and everything like that and even now playing it here uh i had a i had a great time it was a spectacular time in fact which actually this actually brings us to our last topic or our last main topic which is replayability i think i would play it again um, I would say, I would say it's like a 50% or something replayability because I would be tempted to play it again in like a year or two from now where I'm like grown as a person and stuff like that, just to see if like, you know, like I really enjoyed this game when I play it. Let's see if I can enjoy it again, that sort of thing. And I might try different weapons or anything like that, but similar to a movie, cause you can't get a different ending. You can't blah, blah, blah. 
I would say similar to an, a movie, like you watch the movie, you enjoy it for what it is, you enjoy it how it was, however you experienced it the first time, you enjoy it, and then maybe some point down the line you want to watch it again, then you watch it again. Um, you say you enjoy it, and then it, you might touch it again, maybe sometime later, just to kind of remind yourself about the time that you had with it. So that's what I think about the replayability. I would say I will also part of the self plug about my channel. Okay, I ran into an issue playing the game, which this is something you might know um, if you're going to play the game on Steam. Some copies of the game will just not work. Um, like, so I got mine on Steam sale, uh, really cheap. It was like horrendously cheap. I think it was like $2, which this is a great game. And, you know, so I was like, my mind was blown. Uh, the problem I ran into, which you will see if you, you know, if you go and watch my playthroughs, right? Um, you'll see that on the last video, the last chapter, like literally right before the final thing that happens, right? Right before something really cool happens or something. Again, I won't spoil it, but right before that, the game, I ran into an invisible wall. Not a, not a real physical, not a real invisible wall, but like some, a point in the game where the game just could not continue. I kept, like it kept crashing. I ended up deleting it, re-downloading it, whatever, un fucking uninstalling it, you know, restarting my computer i actually even in the time that i was playing the game i actually upgraded my pc like i, I got an entirely new modern an, enti an entirely new motherboard new processor whatever new graphics card i entirely upgraded my pc oh my god i thought i heard somebody in my house like <laughs> i was like you guys you guys are but like i can't edit all that well so i was tempted to if i could edit like a necromorph coming in here but like i legitimately just got so freaked out talking about this as well as dead space um but so anyway for some reason i just at that point in the game it just would not go on so like i've tr i have countless videos of me trying it just because just in case it would keep working so i could keep recording so i'm like all right guys this is the last part we got it and then i hop in and it crashes again goes to my home screen and i'm like all right guys i'll see you in the next video <laughs> so i have lots of uh yeah so that was a bad experience i didn't really get to finish the game which is super sad um so if you do watch my playthrough by all means watch the ending from somebody else because you do you do need to see the ending i thought the story was really great it's a really interesting concept too um like oh let's take zombies and put them in space i think that's a good idea and it is it worked really well um my other thoughts this so this is just kind of like wrapping it up Um, really, like I said about the grocery list thing, that kind of killed it, the immersion, I guess, a little bit. I was just like, why the hell did no other space engineer live, right? Why the hell did nobody else think about, like, blasting him with the plasma cutter? How is it that Isaac is the only one that survives, right? Or how is it that he's the only one who can fix this entire space station, right? sure isaac is a badass we'll give him that right i love him he's a great guy great character great main character he's a badass but it kills me that he is the like we didn't once run into another space engineer that was like fighting for his life or you didn't run into another single person fighting for his life instead you kept running into these cold guys which surprise good job on them for surviving that long but that, that was an issue I ran into. I was just like, maybe if they... Now, obviously, I haven't played the remake. I haven't seen anything about the remake because I figure that I'll play it eventually. But I was just like, man, what? Where is everybody, you know? Now, maybe it's because all of them had been subjected to the marker. But then begs the question, how did anyone survive? How did the cult guys survive? If everybody becomes a part of this thing, right? 
So, anyway, there's a lot of questions with that. Um, but otherwise, again, I, I think I cannot stress enough how much fun I had with this game. It was, like, great, you know? It, it was hard to record because I would sit down and I'd be like, alright, I'm gonna record one chapter of Dead Space and I think that'll be it. Instead, I ended up grinding out. I'd go do, like, two or three in a session just because I'm just, like... Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so into it, right? Like we just we just cleaned the O2 systems. Oh, now there's a big sound coming from the cargo bay. Let's go there. Like it, I was I was so into it, you know. Um, and the gameplay, I I mentioned it in the, when we were talking about the gameplay uh part of the game, but it was so enjoyable to like like I get jump scared out of a door and I'm like oh that was mean you know or I like walk into a hallway and like this new creature that I've never seen before which that is also something that I loved about this game too was they kept introducing new like amalgamations new mutations of this necromorph virus thing uh, which is what I loved about it. It was so in unpredictable, right? Like, you think you're so used to, oh, there's a big brute guy, oh, there's a small guy, oh, there's a faster guy, and then it's like, oh, but there here's this thing that throws, shoots things at you. Oh, here's something that spawns more guys, right? And then, but this guy, like, I turn the corner, and I'm like, what is that? What is that? <laughs> I'm just, I'm not ready for you. I've never seen you before. Um, so... Anyway, that's something to think about as well. So, overall, I give this game... <laughs> 9 out of 10 fish. Like, this is a spectacular game. I think this might be one of the highest rated games on my channel, given it's the only rated game on my channel at this point. But, I just, I love the game so much, and for... Where, I, where it loses points is in that, uh... The grocery list kind of area i just kind of felt like oh come on man like get to the point right you don't gotta keep me doing this right you don't gotta keep sending me on like wild goose chases right just like keep me to the specifics um they're also like there was a lot of audio logs and stuff like that and i could get more but basically they were all just kind of like holy crap this thing that we brought on the ship is really bad and it's still on the ship. Nobody's tried to stop it. Nobody's tried. It's still on the ship. So it was kind of like a little bit weird. Now I get it. There's military and whatever else wanting something to do with it. But um, I thought it was a really good game. So 9 out of 10 fish is a great score. So by all means, would I recommend this game? Absolutely. Go play it. If you can get a copy of it that doesn't crash um it's fantastic it's a great game um but yeah so that's my thoughts on the game if you enjoyed the video like guys you know if you enjoyed the video please subscribe i've already said it but please subscribe leave a like and hey leave some comments for what game you wanted to see me play and review because for longer games that i really enjoy like Dead Space, I do parts and I actually show you guys me playing the full game for smaller games or for games that I feel like aren't very interesting to watch somebody else play in its entirety. I'll upload just one video where I leave the review at the end, but you can see most of my funny moments playing the game, whatever else. Um, but by all means, you know, leave a you know, like I said, leave a comment for what game you want me to play, and if you had any thoughts about Dead Space that I forgot to mention, by all means, go put them in the comments for anyone else who's looking to get any more insight on the game. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ramen Cop. I play video games, and I'm signing off. Deuces.